Okay, kindergarten and first grade friends. The first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a paper. You are going to need a pencil and an eraser. Your eraser may be on the top of your pencil. You may also want a straight edge. That's something that can help you draw a straight line. You can use a folder, a book, a ruler, or anything. Or if you can just draw your straight line all by yourself, go for it. I'm going to just draw my straight line all by myself. And I'm just going to go straight across like this. If you are drawing your straight line using a folder, you want to keep your eraser up to the ceiling and the tippy top or the tip of your pencil down on the bottom. Now boys and girls, I'm going to do my studio. If at any time you need to pause because I'm going too fast, just hit the double lines like that and then hit the triangle when you're ready to play. If you need to go get your supplies, pause the video, go get your supplies. We are going to start out <clears throat> with a window for our studio. So I'm going to draw a really big rectangle up here because the remember last week the book said it is a good idea to have bright light. So there's my window and I'm going to have a little bit of sun shining through just so you know that that's my window. Beautiful. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a table for your studio. So my table isn't going to be a rectangle like you would normally draw and neither is yours. So draw a straight line across. Because it's going back into space, things that are closer to you are bigger. So see how my hand gets bigger? Ju it didn't change size. It just is bigger because it's closer. Now it's smaller because it's further away. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I need to do the same thing here. So I'm going to make a smaller line here. Not quite as big as that one. I'm going to connect the edges. I just made a trapezoid. Next, I need some legs for my table. I'm going to put two lines down. I want a thick table, so I'm going to put a straight line over. I need thicker legs, strong legs, so I put another line down on either side. Now here is your table. You can draw yourself in your studio. You can draw your art supplies on your studio. Maybe you have paint, maybe you have glue, maybe you have scissors, paintbrushes, water cups, clay, I don't know, but you can draw that here. If you want to draw yourself in your art studio, all you need to do is draw an oval, and then two little lines down and two curved lines for your shoulders. And now you are standing or sitting at that table. Sure, you can add some hair. You can even add a face if you would like. Remember, we talked about faces. Some ears. All right, so good luck drawing whatever else you want to add in your art studio.